Yeah, good afternoon and welcome to the Dance Generation Calgary Supra tutorial. As you can see, I got my uh, Supra hoodie on today. I'm all supered up. I'm not getting paid by them. I wish I was though. That'd probably be pretty sweet. I know that a lot of you at this point are thinking, okay, this guy has now officially lost his mind. He is now making videos about shoes to get views on the internet. But I mean, let's just be real here for a second. If you're someone who has a lot of people from the, uh, the international electro community on your Facebook, pretty much every time you log on, someone somewhere in the world is making a status update about Supras. And by the way, just to clarify, Supra is the name of the company and the sky top, which is what you see in front of you, is the name of a model. And uh, because the sky top is kind of largely responsible for the Supra's fame, the two are kind of synonymous. So when you hear someone saying, like, uh, I'm getting a new pair of Supras, that usually means sky tops. And you know, like I was saying, you know, everyday electro dancers are making status updates about them. They're uh, super popular in the uh, community. Uh, e Dolls just got sponsored by them. Sam Zakharoff rocks them all the time. And uh, the reason I made this tutorial is because one night I was talking to Reyes, and he was saying that you know he's been rocking Adidas his whole life, and it's been working out fine. So why should he? Uh, check out the Supras, you know, are they really worth the money or is it just kind of like a trend or kind of hype? I don't know that he probably isn't the only one thinking that, so that's why I decided to make this tutorial. So first of all, let's talk about the price of Supras. If you look on the Supra website or on activemailorder.com or on Revolve Clothing, you'll see that the price of a Supra 1 is about a hundred dollars and the price of a Supra or yeah the, for I should say the, the Sky Top the price of a Sky Top 1 is a hundred dollars price of the Sky Top 2 is around 136 so if you uh, go somewhere and you see uh, the Sky Top 1 for like 200 bucks you know that you're getting insanely ripped off so keep those prices in mind Second thing I want to mention before we continue is that Supra is obviously a huge crossover company. They're big with the mainstream, but they're first and foremost a company that makes skateboarding shoes. They're a skate company. And that's why if you're looking into getting sky tops or any kind of Supra shoes, you should head down to your local skate shop. And by local, I don't mean like a, a huge chain that's in a mall. I'm talking about like really uh, go down to your local skate shop and support the local skateboard industry. Now, uh, first question I'm going to answer is, why should you rock skateboarding shoes for electro dancing? And the main reason is because skateboard shoes are designed for high impact activities. They're designed with impact in mind, they're designed with ergonomics in mind, they're designed to protect your feet, so that's probably the main reason why you should rock skate shoes. Also, the big thing with skate shoes is the sole. As you can see here, this sole is uh, kind of rubbery, it's pretty flexible. This is called a vulcanized sole. Vulcanization is basically a process of fortifying rubber. You can find the, the full definition on Wikipedia, but basically what you gotta, all you got to know that vulcanize is rubber. It's going to be super flexible, offer you a, uh, a lot of feel. It's basically designed for increased board feel, so you can uh, kind of imagine how that would work then on the floor. On the other hand, a lot of running shoes and still some type of skate shoes have what's called EVA. This is one of my old skate shoes. As you can see, it's got the EVA sole. EVA is a type of plastic which contains vinyl. So uh, EVA is definitely a lot stiffer, a lot uh, harder to break in. In skateboarding, it offers increased grip, but uh, definitely takes a lot away from the flexibility and the board feel. 
So that's another thing too. If you go if you go into a skate shop, make sure that you're uh, getting a skate shoe with vulcanized soles if you're going to use it for dancing. Now, the second question is: so out of all the different brands of skate shoes, why would you choose the a, a supermodel or in particular the sky tops? And I'm just going to read you the statistics or the stats that uh, is on the super website. So the sky top has extra heel protection molded into a high memory polyurethane insole and it has a full length midsole injected with super foam. So basically what that means is they just have a lot of technology that's designed for comfort and it's designed to protect your foot against impact. So, to be honest, pretty much every legit brand of skate shoes is going to have some kind of technology. If you look at America or S or Nike skateboarding, maybe not DC because they've kind of gone like really mainstream now. But if you look at a legit skateboarding shoe, it's going to have some technology. So the main thing that separates the supers or the sky tops from all the rest is just basically the look. That's about it. They're just the sleekest looking. They have the most, in my opinion, innovative looks. And uh, the sky top isn't the only model that Super has going for it. This is the kind. This is the shoe that I dance in. As you can see, it's uh, kind of beaten up. This is one of. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name now. Oh, Jim Greco, that's right. This is one of Greco's old uh, signature shoes. And it's still got all the technology of a sky top. It's low cut though. And basically when I'm on the dance floor with these, it's just super comfortable. You can dance all night, your feet won't hurt. They also have some other uh, interesting models like these, the Cubans. As you can see, it's got the... Uh, the chain here which looks super sick I don't know if they make these anymore but basically super definitely some of the best looking shoes combined with some of the best technology and that's what sets them apart so oh and yeah also Terry Kennedy uh, has a model that's super insane so that's basically the story with sky tops and with Supra you no know, really sick look really sick technology and that's basically uh, why I think they've uh, they've caught on a lot of kids though they're probably buying it because it's trendy and because it's a huge thing but the reason that I support Supra is because of the feel and also because of the uh, the look so I hope this helps you out hope this explains a lot of things uh, if you rock supers, feel free to post your comments on the, uh, the bottom there. Get a discussion going. So yeah, I hope this helps out. Peace.